After you receive your camera from JaegerPro, the first step you will want to do is register your camera on our site by visiting jaegerpro.com forward slash my account. Log in or create a new account with a new user ID, email address, and password. Once you are logged in or registered, choose the option to activate data plan. Choose which data provider you have, AT&T or Verizon. Choose your camera type, mine or ice. The picture should help identify the correct type. Enter the 15-digit IMEI number for AT&T or the 14-digit MEID number for Verizon. The number can be found on the inside wall of your camera or under your camera settings. Look under Menu, System, Information. Scroll down 7 on the second page. Check the box to register your camera warranty, then add subscription to cart. Ensure your camera is in the cart. You can add additional subscriptions before proceeding to checkout. Fill out your billing information. Double check your order. Fill out the credit card information. Read the terms and conditions. Check the box, then proceed to checkout. You will receive a confirmation email for your order. Your MEID number has been sent to Verizon for activation. They need to assign an IP address to it, then send back an email with your phone number. This process can take up to two hours. While waiting for the process to complete, you'll want to set up and familiarize your camera by reviewing the Quick Start Guide. Download and review the operations manual and watch the video, Verizon Mine and Ice Camera Operations Video. Set up your camera to the appropriate settings. You will not be able to conduct any tests until your camera is registered to the network. Once you receive confirmation, your next step is to log in or create a new user at JaegerProWireless.com. Read the privacy policy in terms of use, then check on I agree to these terms. Enter your information, then confirm your registration. Once you click Submit, you should receive an email to confirm. Once you confirm your email, sign in. It will take you to the Add New Camera page. Input the camera description. Name your camera. This is very important if you are using multiple cameras. Next, input the module ID number and phone number from the email. Watch the video on how to register your camera to receive your registration code. Make sure you send a test photo and turn your camera on to complete the syncing process. Add a recipient to this list. Just start with one phone number as an email. Visit JaegerPro.com. Click on Help. Camera Facts and Troubleshooting. And then on SMS and MMS Gateway List for a complete listing of all the email gateways. Lastly, read the privacy policy in terms of use. It will open in a new tab when clicked. Check the box after reading the terms of use and privacy policy, then click Add this camera. After adding your camera, it will take you to the camera management page. The first one you will want to update is email contacts. Scroll down to the first email address and input your email or phone number, or double check and make sure the number you previously inserted is correct. For phone numbers, do not check Use Plain Text. Do check it for email addresses. You can add up to 20 contacts and later choose which ones will receive updates. Click on Update once complete, then Camera Management. Click on the Delivery Options button. Choose which camera you want to update, then check the box for each email address or phone number to send to. The last option is Other Delivery Options. Enter the email address or phone number you want to receive the daily status report. You can only insert one recipient here. Once complete, click on the Update button, then the Camera Management button. Under Camera Management is the Request Status, Disable Camera, Enable Camera, Remove Camera, and Take a Photo with a Go off to the side. When selecting any of these options, make sure you check which camera you want to operate. 
you can send the command to multiple cameras. Then click Go. This will give us a status for the camera selected. Note that the middle line shows your camera name, the model number, MEID number, and our auto-generated system ID number. Click on the Change Settings button. Choose which camera you want to update and click Select. Below it will show the active camera with its name. As you scroll down, you will see Just Save My Changes, Update Camera Settings, and Retrieve Camera Settings with additional information below. It has your camera description and camera phone number that can be changed from this location. Continue to scroll down and you will see the following. Camera settings is where you can change camera mode from photo to video. Our camera cannot send live video, but the option to set it to video is here. The next one is photo size. You can choose between 3, 5, or 8 megapixels. Next is the thumbnail size, normal or large. We recommend normal. Lastly is the photo burst with the option of 1, 2, or 3. If you choose 2 or 3, the camera will take the specified number of photos and save them to the SD card, but will only send the last one in the sequence. Trigger settings is next with sensitivity with the option of off, low, normal, or high. We recommend normal. Trigger interval will take a motion activated photo in the time set. We recommend a two to three minute interval to allow the camera time to take and send before the next PIR event. Last is time lapse interval. Selecting this option will take a photo every 30 seconds to eight hours from the time selected. Keep this off unless you want the camera to take and send a photo at the selected interval. Trigger settings, start stop one. You can set a start stop time. In this example, we set the start time for 1400, 2 p.m. Then set the stop time for 04 or 4 a.m. The camera will only function during this time period. Set the trigger interval as previously discussed. Two to three minutes is recommended time. Keep time lapse interval off unless you want to send a photo at the selected intervals. Let's keep this off for now. Trigger settings. Start stop two can be set if you want to set another time period. Remember, do not overlap these times. The system settings, camera region, and camera time zone should be set for your time zone. Timestamp will show the date time group on your photo. Flash power options is high or low. Choose high for longer distance. Choose low if you have something close up or getting a lot of glow back from your pictures. Overwrite can be set to yes or no. Wireless settings has the option to have real-time control on or off. You must have real-time control on for your camera to respond to all commands sent and received from your camera. Photo encryption should be set for no. If you choose yes, they will only be seen on the mobile app and server. Choose yes to send photos. Selecting no will still take and save photos to your SD card, but not send them. Lastly is daily limit. Zero means unlimited. Scheduled event one will send a daily status report. This will ensure the camera talks to the server at least one time per day to make any changes as needed. Choose an appropriate time to send this report. Scheduled event two through 10 Allow the user the option to send a status report or take a photo on the specified day and time on the hour. You can have it send a scheduled event when you want it to. Once you have completed the settings process, scroll back up to the top and click the Update Camera Settings. These changes will take effect the next time your camera talks to the server. Click on Camera Management. If you didn't have your camera turned on, turn it on now and wait for it to gain signal. Send a test photo. Once it sends, turn the camera on. Select Take a Photo and checkbox next to the camera you want to take the photo and click Go. Make sure there is an E next to Jaeger Pro on the picture. This was the manually sent photo. The next one you receive should have an S next to Jaeger Pro. This was the commanded photo. You can view the photo by clicking on the View Photo button or by clicking on the photo. 
Notice that our photos now have an E and S on them. You will want to make sure that your camera is also taking photos from motion activation and will have an M next to the Jaeger Pro. You will have to click on the refresh button or press F5 in order to receive updates from the server to your computer. The next step will be to set up your phone with the Jaeger Pro wireless app. Hover over My Cameras and click on Mobile Access. The top menu will have Your Account ID. Below is the camera name or description with two columns, Admin Access Code and Guest Access Code. Type in an admin access code for your device. If you want someone else to view photos but not have control of the camera, set up a guest access code for them. Use a separate access code for each camera in case you have to delete one at a later time or to give someone access to only one camera. Click back on camera management. Now all of our photos have the appropriate code E, M, and S. Our camera is operational and ready for deployment. The last item covered is command history. Each time a command is sent, it is stored under this location. To set up your mobile app, hover over Support and click on Configure Troubleshooting to configure your phone. Scroll down to the bottom and watch our video for the specific type of phone that you have, an Android or Apple. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral pig populations in your area. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to send us a message through Facebook or email us at info at